this video, I'm going to show you how to add Turn Assistant into Teach-In Automatic. You can see my additional videos on Turn Assistant and on Teach-In Automatic. They go into those in detail. But now we're going to add the two together as there are some specific things that we need to know about. So, I've already got a Teach-In preset in my tractor and I'll just, uh, but we have to make a change to it. So, we'll go ahead and we'll go to Tractor Main Menu, go to Teach-In. Now what we have to do is we have to add in the Turn Assistant feature into Teach-In. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to Edit Offline. What we're going to do now is we've got to add in another feature. So I'm going to click on box number two. It brings me up the functional group, but I'll just go ahead and hit the red X. Now over here on the right hand side, I'm going to go to the third icon down, which adds in another function. Now we'll go ahead and click on that third function. Now in our functional group, we'll scroll down to the steering wheel, and we'll hit the check mark. Down here at the very bottom, we have this icon. This is for Turn Assistant. So we're going to go ahead and select it. Now, the important thing to note for this is that in any of your teach-in sequences that you're going to operate in this field, you cannot have anything related to either engaging or disengaging auto steer. So, if you have an icon like one of these set in your sequence, you have to delete it because otherwise this, this will not work. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to delete that one. Okay, so in, in my uh, teaching here, what we're going to do is we're going to enable uh, cruise control number two, which I think I've set to six miles an hour or so. We're going to activate a hydraulic valve and we're going to enable our uh, turn assistant. Then on my go one buttons, when I come back into the headland, we're going to uh, change to cruise number one and uh, activate a hydraulic valve. Okay, so now we're going to get out of this menu. Now we have to enable our teach in automatic. So, how we're going to do that is we got to get out of this menu as well. Now we'll go to Vario Guide, Vario Guide Main Menu. We're going to go down here to Auto Teach In, our headland settings, and now we have to enable this. Again, we have to ensure that everything on this page is correct. I have an additional video that goes through that in detail. Here, this bottom button is how we're going to enable our auto teach in. We're going to turn this on. We get this message comes up, says it's going to turn on, so we'll acknowledge that. Now, one more step. We have to go back one more menu. Now we have to go down to our turn assistant uh, menu. Now we need to scroll down to this icon right here, and we're going to enable manual. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll go to the full map screen, we'll get some ground speed, as soon as I start to move I'll go ahead and I'll manually engage my auto steer using the white button on the armrest and then again like I said before we do not want to disengage auto steer and we do not want it to be in any of our teach-in sequences. So here you'll see what direction the tractor plans on turning. If we don't like that and if we want it to turn left, we go ahead in the lower left corner, we tap on the left icon and we'll turn to the left. In this case I do want to turn to the right, so I'll turn to the right. Now I would need to enable my teach-in sequence. Cruise control is enabled, my valves are running, and now as we cross the line we're going to enable our turn assistant. The tractor is now turning by himself. As we approach our headland, now our teach-in automatic will uh, enable our go one button. Cruise control will change to um, cruise number one, and my hydraulic valve enables. Now the neat thing about turn assistant is, is we don't have to wait to the end of the field in order to turn around. 
So if I wanted right now to make a right U-turn, I could click on this button, and I would click on the center one with the auto and manual, and it would make a right-hand turn. I'll go ahead and I will do a left-hand turn so you can see that happen. So right now I'll hit that center button. Now I have enabled the left-hand turn. For some reason on the next turn we wanted to skip two turns what we would do is we would press on this little tiny number one change that to a two hit our turn button and now it'll actually skip a row on the next turn <laughs> 